the night before surgery and Clark can't drink any more water after 12 o'clock. So he just chugged a bunch. And fortunately, his jock strap came in time. Yes, that's something you need to do. So, got that in the mail, the final instructions. And we're ready for tomorrow. This is fun place over there. Oh, yeah. Now this is sexy. <laughs> Look at the straps. I feel That's like. That's how they are. There's no butt. Can't they just give you like a male thong? Why do they gotta put straps around your butt? Uh, because it pulls up, I guess. I don't you, know. Let's see if it fits. Yeah. Your mom. Just try it. No. <laughs> no. I mean, over your pants. All right, party pepper. So Clark didn't want to sample it for you. I will. Has these nice little straps to give butt cheek support. It wraps around and gets the important pieces. Nice thick band. I said I think I look pretty cute in it. Clark asked me in the car if I'm excited, and I said, not really. It's been very easy and convenient, but it's also exciting feeling like this is God's plan and well for us. Everything's worked out so well so far. Of course, trusting him and whatever happens after this, but it all feels right, and it's exciting to think about what will come of it. Okay, so now what's the rule yeah. after surgery? Uh, go for a motorcycle ride? <laughs> <laughs> no! Go <laughs> no, doing nothing. Reclining, ice, and jock strap. What's in there? Something pokey. He got poked. They're hydrating him and an antibiotic. And he's wearing these pretty compression socks. So the idea is that he's wearing the compression socks because he's gonna be laying there for two to four hour surgery, so that's gonna help with circulation. And that's about it. Good morning. The nurse just pulled me back. They're about halfway through and they opened up the left side and she said that it was beautiful and sperm was flowing and it was weird because when she said that i felt this like little like feeling in my throat a little tingle in my nose um so that was interesting and um yeah, but she said that was great, and she, they connected vas to vas, which is the ideal situation. And they moved over to the right side. She said she hasn't checked for sperm on that one yet, um, but there is a blockage. Um, not as an ideal situation, but it's not negative either. I'm gonna find out more when the surgeon completes everything. She'll talk to me directly, so I'll find out more about that. But 
um, it just got real. <laughs> so on the left, it looked great. Okay. The fluid was nice and clear, free flowing. We saw sperm in the fluid. So we did a vas to vas reattachment on that side. So great. So success rates in the 90 percentiles. Okay. Great. So on the right side, um, I went below where the vasectomy spot was. And it's funny because he has like a little cyst on that side. Yeah, so, I remember you palpating. Which is optimistic, actually. It's like yeah. a good finding. But because of his interval, you know, you're always suspicious. So I opened up the vas there, and there's no fluid, nothing mm -hmm. dry. So I usually let it sit. I got the upper vas ready to go. Checked again, dry, nothing. So then I went a little lower, and at that point I was in um, what's called convoluted vas. So when the vas comes off of the epididymis, it's kind of like this, and then it kind of straightens out. Okay. So his vasectomy on the side was done pretty low. And so my first cut was about here. My second cut was kind of like in here. Okay. It's still dry, no okay. fluid. So when you see no fluid at all, it makes you worried about the epididymis yeah. being blocked. And so in feeling the epididymis, there's this hard area right at the head. Like abnormally. Yeah, not a mass, not a tumor, hard, yeah. not like that, but just cystic and bad. Yeah. So the journey of the sperm are that when they're made in the testicle, they're made throughout, and yeah. then they go into these efferent ducts, okay. and there's just like, they call it a reedy testis that drains into the epididymis, and then they come out of the epididymis into this convoluted vas sure. and then into the vas. So the least mature sperm are here, yeah. and then they mature as they go through. Okay. Okay. So if you could pick where your blockage was, you want it down here. Yeah. Because you want it. You want the sperm to have as much time in the epididymis as you can. Plus, you have all this to work with. You right. can pick different spots on the epididymis. His was here. Okay. So, worst case scenario on yeah. an epididymal blockage. Yes, she did both sides. Okay. Why wouldn't she? Okay. <laughs> Anesthesia wise, you know, there's no drive in sunny, anything important. You're going to feel it pretty rough for a couple of days here. Um, if I drive like this, I'd be like normal Pennsylvania. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> like a druggie. Mm, like a druggie. He said, he's like, is this what people feel like when they're high? <clears throat> Why do they do this? <laughs> you okay? Everything went fine, no problems. Is that the... Uh, yeah. Tube, yeah. I have a little sore throat. So you did a tube, tube of log me? <laughs> what is that? A tubologamy? <laughs> it's a word he just made up. <laughs> just with the sitting or lifting. Normally it's nothing more than 30 pounds for, a, oh, about a month, just because the more you strain, obviously yeah. you're going to get black and blue and swollen. Um, How about brain strain? Brain strain, yeah, then you do. Um, you can shower in like a day or two, and the incisions, you know, it's just the one incisions, they're, they're absorbable sutures. Ice, 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 120 minutes, off 20 minutes for the first um, hours, okay? okay? Even though you're sitting in the office job, whatever, um, compression shorts or something is just going to give you a lot of support for the next yeah. month, okay? Because mm -hmm. it'll, it'll uh, be French helpful. Speedos. Yeah, there you go. Some Speedos. And some of yeah. medicine and my empty stomach, I think. Yeah. You you have like a there's like a chemical smell when I kiss you. I'm sorry. I don't feel anything here. I feel shit here. Yeah. Did she do anything? Yeah. She took your one ball out. She took the one out because it was too so, shriveled. <laughs> Is this worse than your other surgeries? Mm. Worse than the colonoscopy? Yeah. Really? <coughs> no, they want you to relax and they're going to give you some food in a little bit, like some juice or crackers. Yeah, you probably can't. You want something to drink? Soda, juice, water? He likes juice. Have apple or cranberry? Mm. 
And is it a gram? Oh, no. For the, um, the reason I'm telling you is Ivy Tylenol, the Percocet has acetaminophen in it, has Tylenol too, mm -hmm. so we Which talked about it. Which way did it go? Which way what? Did she tie the tubes or? Yeah, the one was a vasovasectomy and the other one was the other one. The epi, really? epi whatever. Really? Yeah. So she's, I got my tubes tied. Yes. And now I'm half a woman. <laughs> Sixty-seven. Yeah, they won't, they said it takes you an hour to get up. We get you some juice. I'm proud of you. That's what always happens. Is when you hear I have no idea what my bazookas feel like. Well, that's good. I feel like I'm not in control. You're not. I'm speaking. Your heart rate. You notice it went up when I saw your face. What'd you say? Did you notice it went up when I saw your face? Oh. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. I can't believe you did this. <coughs> I love you. I love you too. Not Oh, <laughs> My heart's tough. <laughs> Maybe she'll cut up a few on the couch. This is the reality of wearing a dog shop. <laughs> Very nice. I thought you weren't going to get evidence. Huh? I thought you weren't going to get evidence. Well, I don't know if the viewers actually want to see that, but it's reality. I want to do this vlog to show people what going through a vasectomy reversal is. And they need to know that when you have a husband that Yes, we're a chalk strap. This is what happens. He makes eggs like that. <laughs> so, as if I was worried about Clark not being able to be outside. Hey, it's like a vacation on the beach. Without the beach? Yeah. Are you relaxed? Yes. Should you put ice on those? No. Yeah. <laughs> Sun. You're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs>